Nowhere in scripture does it make size a qualification for obedience for a church. In fact, if you just look at the history of the first church, the church in Jerusalem, I believe that the 12 apostles were the incipient church. Jesus uh, talks to them about church discipline in Matthew 18. On the day of Pentecost, we know that there are they are numbered uh, 120. They're gathered together in the upper room. And then by the end of the day, they've grown considerably because Peter preached and the Holy Spirit uh, worked and 3,000 were saved and baptized on that day. So the church in Jerusalem went through the entire cycle of being a, a very small church to being a, a mega church very, very quickly. And then we know later that uh, there are thousands more trust the Lord. There are some scholars who believe that there were at one time as many as 50,000 in the church at Jerusalem. And they went to house to house meetings because they got too many to even fill the, the temple court. So it got very large. We're never told that they divided into multiple churches in Jerusalem. It was still considered one church when later in the book of Acts, when they have the, the council at Jerusalem, and it seems like James is at least the first among equals and sort of leading and pastoring there with others, uh, elders, the apostles are there. Uh, the church has gotten quite large and it has a great influence even while other churches have been planted. So I don't think you can say that a church is more biblical because it's small or, or more biblical because it's large. I don't think either model is unbiblical either. I think the question is obedience and effectiveness. Is the church obedient to what God has given us? Are, are they faithful to the Great Commission that they're making disciples and baptizing them and teaching them to observe all things whatsoever he's commanded? Are they reproducing, making other churches? So a small church can do that. A large church can do that. Size can challenge our effectiveness, whether it's small or large. The challenge of small churches is koinonitis. They, they fellowship so much that they fellowship with each other, but they don't really feel like they need anybody else. They don't want to mess up the dynamic. This is a good thing we've got going here. We enjoy fellowship so much. And, and other people, especially people who don't look like us, think like us, dress like us, you know, they're, they're gonna mess this up. So that's a challenge for the small church, the same way that for a large and growing church, the challenge is, okay, how can we, how can we organize in order to maximize our impact in people's lives and get them really committed and accountable and ministering? So that's why it's a challenge either way. I think that the question for elders and leaders in any church is always, are we being faithful to what God's given us to do? And sometimes you can get more faithful by growing, by witnessing and growing and seeing people come to the church. At other times, you need to divide. So I believe that there's a lot of, of wiggle room in the New Testament for the way church polity is carried out. There are certain bedrock principles that we must stick to, but nowhere does it say that all the church must gather in one place at one time for it to be uh, an effective church, nor does it say that they cannot be, for instance, multi-site. It seems to me that the Church of Jerusalem uh, becomes, in, in one sense, multi-site because they have to break bread from house to house, and even though it's one church. So I think the real question is one of obedience to the scripture. Does this church look like the church of the New Testament? Are we carrying out what Christ has given us to do? That is non-negotiable, but size is never made a part of the command. And we're not told to get to a certain size and split, uh, nor are we told that a small church is ineffective. Uh, we're told to be faithful and specifically to the Great Commission. And I think that is what we have to look at. It's a question of effectiveness and obedience, not size. Thanks for watching Honest Answers. You can submit your questions by email, Twitter, or in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe to find out the answer to next Wednesday's question.